हेलो बॉयज एंड गर्ल्स मैं हूं आपकी होस्ट और दोस्त मिस वॉटनेस्ट एम आई ऑडिबल एवरी वन एम आई ऑडिबल एम आई विजिबल बताइए मुझे एम आई ऑडिबल एवरी वन यस गुड आफ्टरनून गुड आफ्टरनून हेलो बॉयज एंड गर्ल्स गुड आफ्टरनून so how are you all doing welcome to neat elixir as i told you yesterday elixir means magical so the teaching will be magical we have lilies we have china rose we have certain plants so we'll be doing live dissections today how many of you are excited please tell me in the form of likes how many of you are excited okay i can see the chat box Good afternoon, Dibesh, Priyanshu, Arman Ali, Tulsi, Divya. Hi, how are you all doing? Abhishek, Fezan. So first of all, yes, yes, yes. First of all, please subscribe the channel if you haven't do it till now. Hi, Nanya, you're very excited, Prerna. I want some likes. I want to see some likes, please, fast. super excited so everyone is super excited yes i'll be teaching in details and for more details you can join my plus subscription i'll be taking about that also hi ishtemar i am doing super good okay so yes all right okay so can we start the session all right so a brief introduction about myself i've done masters in botany yes delhi university topper bsc in botany college topper and i have approximately more than 13 years of experience this year also i have produced air 13 22 32 33 and probably next year air 1 Yes so i think that will be magical yes let's target for air 1 right okay so i have mentored more than 2 lakh 50000 students okay so yes on this channel i'll be teaching in english but it will be very very basic english english matlab it will be very very basic english koi bahut difficult english nahi hone wali hai okay all right so today we are starting with the chapter sexual reproduction in flowering plants right sexual reproduction in angiosperms angion means covered and sperma means seed all of you have your ncrts with you you have your ncrts or not first of all tell me please open your ncrts fast 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 okay Okay type NCERT in the chat box if you have NCERT with you I want to see writing NCERT in the chat box come on fast fast do it I want to see writing NCERT in the chat box if you have your NCERT so I want NCERTs and your notebooks all right so let's start so today we'll be starting with the very basic introduction but as you know basics are very very important like in the topic genetics i know genetics is hard for you but i am going to make it easy you know because i'm a core botanist i've done my msc in botany i'm a core botanist we are going to go into the nitty bits but we are going to do the details also but first of all we have to cover the basics right kya hota hai basic cover karna bahut zaruri hai अगर आपको टेंथ स्टेयर तक पहुंचना है तो यार एट्थ स्टेयर तक तो पहुंचना पड़ेगा ना अब आप बोलो कि डायरेक्टली मैं फर्स्ट से टेंथ पे जंप मार लेता हूं तो नहीं अगर आपको यही नहीं पता इफ यू डोंट नो व्हाट इज द डिफरेंस बिटवीन द कार्पल एंड द पिस्टल हाउ आर यू गोइंग टू टेल मी वॉट इज मोनो कार्पलरी वॉट इज पॉली कार्पलरी आई नो कि बचपन से बढ़ते आ रहे हैं दैट कार्पल एंड पिस्टल आर सेम बट यस दे आर डिफरेंट सो इन टूडेज लेक्चर आई बी टेलिंग यू दैट वाज़ द डिफरेंस बिटवीन कार्पल एंड पिस्टल तो चलिए आइए मचाते हैं सेक्सुअल रिप्रोडक्शन एंड प्लानिंग प्लांट्स के अंदर मिस बॉटनिस के साथ आई यू एक्साइटेड 
I want to see hearts, likes, pizzas in the chat box before starting the lecture. I can see the chat box. Please like the session, share the session as much as possible. All right. Good afternoon, Mukherjee. In English language, okay, yes, I'm going to deal with very, very basic English. Don't worry about that, Durga Prasad. All right. So let's crack NEAT 2024, right? AIR 1. All right. Thank you so much, Arpita Arman. I am going to teach in details, but for much more details, please join my plus subscription. All right. Okay. So, I can't do it or I can do it. I know you people can do it, right? All right. Okay. So, what are the four worlds of a typical flower? Okay. The four worlds of a typical flower are androsium, gynosium, calyx and it's not carella it's corolla so androsium gynosium calyx and corolla these are the four worlds of a typical flower now i am not mentioning that what is essential and what is non-essential i am just telling you what are the worlds so if a question is asked in the need examination that what are the four worlds then the four worlds will be the four worlds are androsium, the symbol used is A, gynosium, the symbol used is G, calyx, the symbol used is K, and for corolla, the symbol used is C, as you must have studied in morphology. Now, if it is asked, okay, some students are asking that you have to note down this no you'll be getting the entire pdf entire notes in our telegram channel neat elixir so you have to join the telegram channel neat elixir for the handwritten notes and the pdf all the of these notes so in this lecture you have to basically understand the concepts you have to grasp the concepts all right perfect let's go for it yes yes brain are you understanding all right let's go for it androsium gynosium calyx and corolla so androsium and gynosium they are the essential worlds right androsium gynosium they are the essential or they are the reproductive worlds they are helping in reproduction and calyx and corolla they are the accessory accessory or non-essential worlds non-essential means they are not helping in reproduction means even if you take them out they will not basically hamper the reproduction right so calyx and corolla the calyx and the corolla they are non-essential right so they are the non-essential or accessory worlds and androsium gynosium they are the essential worlds right all right okay then next so can you spot can you identify what is there in the picture can you all identify what is there in the picture behind me yes please identify tulsi pradhan tirith yes please identify the picture that what is the picture china yes absolutely right china rose china rose hibiscus rosa sinensis or you can call it as chinensis why because the origin of this particular flower was there in china hibiscus rosa chinensis because the origin was in china right so the specific name is an adjective it describes from where the origin of the flower is there or how is the flower looking or how is the fruit looking right okay so 
Today, I have China Rose with me. I'll be telling you in the later part of the lecture that China Rose, what is this? What is the stigma? How will you differentiate the pistil and the carpal? But in the later section of the lecture, you have to wait for that magic, right? Okay. So, we are done with the four worlds. Okay, and if the flower is having all these four worlds, the flower is called a complete flower. And if any of one of these worlds is missing, then that flower is called incomplete flower, right? If any of these worlds, even if one of the world is missing, then that is called incomplete flower. That means unisexual flowers will always be incomplete right unisexual flowers will always be incomplete why because either they'll be having androsium or they'll be having gynosium right okay so let's go to the next slide so we have done these four worlds now we have to understand what we have to understand that where are these four worlds present? These four worlds are present on what? I want to see in the chat box. Can anybody tell me that where are these four worlds present? Can you all please tell me that where are the four worlds present please? Can you please tell me anyone? That where are the four worlds present? Okay. Crystal clear, Priyanchu. Okay, good. So now tell me the four worlds are present on what part? I'll give you a hint. I'll give you a hint. Okay. Uh, what is the edible part in apple? What do you eat in apple? What is the edible part in apple? Can you please tell me? The edible part in apple. Please tell me. Edible part in apple, Ananya. Yes, it is thalamus. Right. So that means the four worlds are present on the... The worlds are present on the thalamus. Excellent. Yeah, we have gems with us. I mean, superb. I was not expecting the answer from you people. I thought, ke kuch aur batayenge. but that's superb that you told me the answer. Very nice. Yes, thalamus. So, in the later part of the chapter, we'll be also be dealing with the section of the apple, with the section of the different kinds of placentation. Means, botany mein, har jiz ratta nahi lagana yaar. If you understand the concept, I think you are going to remember it lifelong because I had studied in my master's from an amazing, amazing taxonomist, you know. So that means if you, want, if you want to understand the concept crystal clear, I think you should have a section in front of you, a beautiful section, a beautiful crystal clear section and you will be understanding everything, I guess. Right? All right. So, okay. So... These are different parts of a typical flower as we already discussed. We have four worlds, androsium, gynosium, calyx and corolla. Okay. Now, if I ask you a question, is stamen a whorl? Is sepal a whorl? Is petal a whorl? No. The worlds are androsium, gynosium, calyx and corolla. Right? So, sepal, petal, stamen. Carpal or pistil, they are not the worlds. I am going to make this concept crystal clear for you. Just give me a minute. Okay. So, androsium consists of stamens. Right. So, androsium is a whorl. Right. But stamen is not a whorl. Right. So, androsium is a whorl. I just erased it by mistake. Okay. I'll write it again. Androsium is a whorl, but stamen is not a whorl. So, androsium consists of stamens. Suppose we have 10 stamens in a flower. So, there are not 10 androsium. There are 10 stamens, right? Androsium is one. One androsium is having 10 stamens, right? Like we have gynosium. So, gynosium consists of carpal or pistil. Here, I am going to tell you the concept. How carpal and pistil are different. 
I know most of you have studied that carpal and pistil are same, but carpal and pistil are different. Look here. What is the difference between carpal and pistil? Suppose we have one carpal, right? We have one carpal with us. So this is one carpal, and yes, it is equal to one pistil. But when we have more than one carpal in a typical flower, so when we have more than one carpal, now can you see here there are three carpals and the carpals are fused. Yes, you have three carpals and they are fused like this. But when you have three carpals free like this, there these three carpals are equal to three pistil. But where the carpals are fused, there the three carpals are equal. They are not equal. Yes, they are equal or they are not equal to three pistils. No, three carpals can be considered equal to one pistil. So that means when the carpals are fused, then there the terms carpal and pistil, they cannot be used interchangeably. Yes, aap carpal or pistil term ko interchangeably use nahi kar sakte ho in which case where the carpal and where the carpals are fused, right? Are you understanding everyone? I want to see some likes. I want to see 100 likes. Okay, if you are understanding, if you are liking the session, I want to see 100 likes. Please, let's go for it. Very nice. Thank you so much. Ananya, that means Ananya, you are understanding? All right. Okay, I think everyone is understanding, right? The concept. So, this was a question asked in AIMS. PYQ, what is PYQ? Previous year question, right? AIMS PYQ, I want to mark here. That this was AIMS PYQ, yes. So, this, that what is the difference between carpal and pistil this was aims pyq up uh, we always try to mug up the examples we always try to mug up the hi-fi things who is going to do the basics huh right who is going to do the basics so basics should be crystal clear kya kya de hai ki agar tree ki root strong hai to us tree ko koi hila nahi sakta aise hi agar hamare basics strong hai then we are going to crack neat. We are going to reach the zenith. Nobody can stop us. Right? So, agar neat me AIR one chaye, to aapki rago me khun nahi, junoon hona chaye neat ka. Right? How's the josh? Agar wo junoon hai, to definitely aap or me milke crack karenge AIR one lekar aayenge. Lekin uske liye regularity, revision and relentlessness matlab never giving up ka attitude i want right all right concept clear crystal clear thank you so much okay all right so let's go further into the concept i think androsium gynosium and carpal pistil is very much clear to you similarly if i talk about calyx it is made up of what calyx is made up of sepals Corolla is made up of petals. So, petals and sepals, they are not the whorls, right? The whorls are androsium, gynosium and calyx and corolla. All right. So, let me go further with it. And I told you all these whorls are present on the thalamus. Thalamus or receptacle, right? Okay. All right. I think this much is crystal clear to everyone i hope it is clear to everyone right okay so now can you tell me that what is how the thalamus looks like i am going to give you a crystal clear diagram that how the thalamus is going to look look here uh, so this we can draw like this 
This a very simplified diagram. Okay, a very very simple, high-fi diagram. A very simplified, simple diagram. I am going to make. Okay, for you people. So this is a thalamus, and this thalamus is also called receptacle. And all the four walls are present on this thalamus. So all the four walls, they are present on the thalamus. Just, just give me a minute. Give me a minute. I think it's hanging for a second. I'm just going to fix it. Yes. Mm. All right. Yes, it was hanging. It's fixed now. So this was the thalamus. And on the thalamus, you have gynoecium. You have androecium, that is the stamens, right? And you have the calyx and the corolla. So first we have, what do you have? You have the corolla and then you have the calyx. So this is a very simplified diagram. We have to just note from here that all these four worlds are present on the thalamus or receptacle okay i'll use white color i've noted it i'll use white color so sorry i think red color is not visible all right i've not written anything i'll use white color from next time branch sorry okay all right so thalamus or receptacle is having all the four worlds right is that clear to everyone is this clear can i go further all right now if you talk about a typical stamen so, what two parts you expect from the stamen? What is the part that you expect from the stamen? Tell me. Stamen mein kya hoga? What is there in the stamen? Can you tell me anyone? Okay, here goes. What stamen? Yes, androsium is the world. And stamen is the unit. And this stamen is equivalent to microsporophyll in gymnosperms refresh your memories go to plant kingdom have you heard about microsporophyll and megasporophyll yes microsporophyll so this stamen it is equivalent to the stamen is equivalent to microsporophyll of gymnosperms similarly the carpal or the pistil is equivalent to carpal or pistil is equivalent to megasporophyll of gymnosperms right am i clear so stamen a typical stamen has got two parts you can see here the bilobed anther there are two lobes like this one is this other is this bilobed anther and this is the filament this is the sterile slender what do you mean by slender slender means thin so this is the bilobed anther this is the sterile slender filament it's long slender thin filament filament has nothing to do with the gamete production that's why the filament is sterile because it has nothing to do with the gamete production right but the bilobed anther the bilobed anther yeah bilobed tetrasporangier yes absolutely right so the bilobed anther that is fertile because where will be the pollen grains located in the anther so how the pollen grains will be formed let's go for it okay so <clears throat> if we talk about the bilobed anther so we have the bilobed anther right the bilobed anther and the sterile long filament right if you cut a transverse section this is how you cut a transverse section at ts right 
this is how you cut a longitudinal section this is the ts and this is a longitudinal section this is ls and this is ts right because such kind of things also you can be asked in the neat examination if you cut a ls or if you cut a ts what kind of diagram so everything in ncrt you have to uh, look at this analyze that it's a ts or it's a vs or it's a ls so first of all today we'll be talking about this is ls and this is a ts this is transverse section right okay so if you cut a ts transverse section like this of a bilobed anther ts i think now the white pen is visible to everyone the white pen is visible but chalo white pen is visible to everyone beta yes i can see the chat box okay ah yes 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 some uh, students are asking after this oh yes i'll be telling you about the stamens here and stamens here yes of these two flowers we'll be dealing with these two flowers in every class we'll be having a flower so that even in the exam a question comes on china rose you remember yes ma'am told us staminal tube or ma'am told us मोनो एडल्फर्स कंडीशन और मैम टोल्ड अस दिस तो हमने कुछ देखा था ऐसे तो अगर हमें याद रहेगा हमने कुछ देखा था दैट मीन्स यार हमें याद रहेगा कंसेप्ट कि हमें बुकिश लैंग्वेज अगर नहीं भी याद है बट इफ यू रिमेंबर कि यार ऐसा कुछ हमने विजुअलाइज किया था सो दैट कंसेप्ट विद ऑटोमेटिकली इट वॉज गोइंग टू फीड इन योर ब्रेन्स राइट ओके एब्सोल्युटली ऑल राइट ठीक है सो वी हैव वी हैव कट टी एस ऑफ द एंथर and what do you visualize after cutting the ts after cutting the transverse section hame kya nazar aata hai what do you what do you visualize so after cutting a ts of the anther we see a tetragonal structure a tetragonal what do you mean by tetragonal tetragonal means four sided structure tetragonal four sided structure yes so this is the front part and this is the back part back part is also known as the rear part rear is hum gaadi mein bolte hain rear gear back gear rear रिवर्स गेयर बोलते हैं रियर इज द बैक पार्ट राइट ओके सो द फ्रंट पार्ट एज यू कैन सी द फ्रंट पार्ट इज सेपरेटेड बट द बैक पार्ट इज नॉट हैविंग अ बिग डिप्रेशन नो द बैक पार्ट इज जॉइंड द फ्रंट पार्ट इज सेपरेटेड सो वाई द बैक पार्ट इज जॉइंड because it is having a tissue called here somewhere it is having a tissue called which tissue the tissue is known as connective tissue yes the tissue it is known as connective tissue so i am just writing a name c c for connective tissue which is a sterile tissue i know the anther is fertile but connective tissue is right connective tissue is a sterile tissue it is a vascular tissue vascular matlab vascular means it is having xylem and phloem right it means it is having xylem and phloem it's a vascular tissue right okay so the back part you can see it has a connective tissue and the front part it is separated right now you have these what are these what are these sporangia means a rounded structure like this this is a big one so this is megasporangia because this is round and it is big but these circles four circles i have drawn these are small so these are microsporangia micro small 
mega big please note down in your copies whenever wherever whenever wherever the term micro is asked it is always and always and always associated with the male part and whenever the term mega or macro is asked it is always associated with female right micro with male mega with female so next time in the next lecture if i ask you ki please tell me if the term micro is there you are not going to take not even a second to tell me that micro is for male and mega is for female right okay all right okay yeah. and yes you have to like subscribe the channel for more and more lectures otherwise you are going to miss the updates so agar abhi ab abhi bhi aapne subscribe nahi kiya to please first of all like subscribe the channel all right theek hai let's go further hi uh, hi anna okay i hope you are enjoying the lecture anna all right so we have four micros pranj here okay now let me ask a very very interesting question that was asked in the neat examination shall i do it shall i do it a neat examination question all right yes we'll be dealing with mega and female cone yes and you don't have to go anywhere after this class we have sachin sir's class sharp at 3 pm zoology lecture to jana nahi i will be ending the session at 256 255 you'll be having a 2 3 minute short break and then we'll be coming for such and such lecture too right okay kyunki botany and zoology biology 360 on 360 dono ka combination right deadly combination right 360 on 360 okay sure yes okay now let's go for this so there are four microsporangia i was asking a question from you people right what is the ploidy level of the anther of this entire part if i ask you the ploidy level of androsium or if i ask the ploidy level of stamen so can you tell me what is the ploidy level of the stamen i can see the chat box please answer in the chat box ploidy level of androsium stamen anther can you tell me the ploidy level no one are you answering all right so it is diploid no 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 it's not aneuploid as pyring medico ploidy ploidy means okay it is diploid or haploid what is the chromosome number now if i am more clear fazan i hope you've done mitosis meiosis we'll be doing that mitosis meiosis also i'll be covering that diploid very good ratnadeep yes why because till now no reductional division no meiosis has occurred till now abhi tak no meiosis has occurred that means everything associated with androsium till now is what it is diploid right okay so we have four microsporangia and there is a tetragonal structure right there is a tetragonal structure and now tell me most of students answer it wrongly that what is the difference between the lobe and theca so a typical anther a typical anther is a typical anther is what it is bilobed right it is bilobed it is dithecus and it is tetrasporangiate that means by looking at this by lobed dithecus tetrasporangiate by looking at this hame lag raha hai ki theca and lobes are same but they are not if you open ncrt 
one, two, third page. Sexual reproduction, third page. If you can see approximately eighth to tenth line of NCRT, it is written that it is dithecus with respect to one lobe. That means actually me in the anther there are four theca. Now look at the difference here. This is one lobe. This is another lobe. Right? This is one lobe and this is another one. Each lobe has two compartments. Theca are the compartments. Is lobe mein do compartments hai. Matlab do theca hai. Or is lobe mein bhi do theca hai. To total kitne theca hue? Char. Four. Right? But there are two theca with respect to one lobe. That means if a numerical is there, we have to answer with respect to four theca. But yes, in the scientific convention, we always and always write diethecus with respect to this is much more understood that diethecus is with respect to one lobe. So one lobe has two theca, another lobe has two theca. That means how many total theca are there? Total there are four theca, right? But we write diethecus. So if a terminology comes like tetrathecus, that's wrong. It's a wrong terminology according to the scientists. So we have to follow this terminology. We have to use diethecus with respect to one lobe, right? All right. I hope everybody is liking the session. You are understanding, right? The conceptual clarity is being built up, right? The concept is clear. Okay. All right. So now, as I told you, that everything associated here, it is what? It is deployed, right? It is deployed. So, what is present in these microsporangia? What is present in the microsporangia? Bataye ke microsporangia ke andar kya hoga? Microsporangia ke andar. Tissue here. There's a presence of tissue. Which tissue? Sporogenous tissue, right? Sporogenous tissue. It's a deployed tissue, right? Sporogenous tissue. It's a deployed tissue. So, yaha pe microsporangia ke under we have a mass of compactly arranged homogeneous cells. I know there are two, two, three heavy terms. A mass of, mass, jund, of, compactly arranged, tightly packed, homogeneous. All the cells are similar in shape, similar in size. A mass of compactly arranged homogeneous cells that occupy center of each microsporangium and that mass of compactly arranged homogeneous cells that is called sporogenous tissue. What do you call it as? Sporogenous tissue and the ploidy level is? The ploidy level is diploid. So can we have a quick question on it? Can we have a quick question? Can we have it? All right. You have your copies with you. You have your notebooks with you, everyone. You have your notebooks, right? So, please write down a numerical. Okay, a numerical. That was asked again in AIPMT, All India PMT. When NEET was not there, there was AIPMT. Please write a question. If there are 10 chromosomes, if there are 10 chromosomes in, in, the root of China rose. We have China rose with us. If there are 10 chromosomes in the root of China rose, 
10 chromosomes and the root of china rose then can you please tell me what will be the number of chromosomes what will be the number of chromosomes in the sporogenous tissue please tell me what will be the number of chromosomes in the sporogenous tissue if in china rose the number of chromosomes in the root of child we don't have the root here we have the flower but we are just assuming that in the root there are 10 chromosomes then what will be the number of chromosomes in the sporogenous tissue of china rose please tell me i want your answers in the chat box i am waiting for you please tell me the answers yes can you please tell me yes okay 10 pradhan sangeeta is saying 10 okay any other answer 10 20 30 10 rim jim 10 all right 10 is the right answer why because the angiosperm angiosperm root it is deployed right it is deployed so the sporogenous tissue it is also deployed absolutely right answer i am super impressed with my kiddos i am impressed i love my kiddos wow i love the batch you i love this batch now i was thinking that the answer would be coming from you b20 i am surprised you people are super intelligent you have the caliber of getting super college and need examination right okay right so we have done sporogenous tissue now we have to go again the line what the line of ncrt says okay this is anther this is filament i've got beautiful slides for you anther and filament and you can see again there are four stamens this entire world one two three four four stamens consisting of and rosium this is one two three four right this is this is gynosium carpal or the units are carpal or pistil stigma style ovary these are the ovules right look at the animation how beautiful it looks how beautiful the stamen is looking anther filament right okay so yes everybody has written correctly 10 very nice okay so this is anther this is filament which is the fertile part which is the fertile part jaldi se bataiye which is the fertile part fertile part is fertile part is anther sterile part is filament right okay fertile part anther sterile part filament okay so you all i think before going further can we have the live dissection of these two flowers can we have the live dissections <laughs> yes all right i want 100 likes for this <laughs> 50 likes all right okay you want the like dissection okay let's have it so we have two china roses with us and for this you have to visualize a bit of morphology external features morphology of flowering plants so let's have the live dissection of china rose what do you want china rose or lily china rose this is your favorite look the wall of bracteoles bract ka bhai bract ka small brother bracteole right the wall of bracteoles and then these are the colorful petals look here the colorful petals this is the staminal tube this is the staminal 
tube you remember mono adulfus condition if you remember if you have gone through morphology once mono adulfus condition mono adulfus where there is a single staminal tube which is having infinite stamens hum tabhi floral formula kya likhte the infinite me a fir yahan pe infinite or bracket bracket q all the infinite stamens they are present on this staminal tube and you can see the filaments are like this and the anthers is like this that means mono adulfus adulfi adulfi matlab anthers are free the filaments are fused and all the stamens they are present on a single staminal tube mono adulfus condition right so these are the infinite stamens now can you see the stigma can you see pentafid 1 2 3 4 5 pentafid fid matlab branched can you see the stigma if i hide the stamens please write yes or no in the chat box if you can see the stigma please you can see the pentafid stigma 1 2 3 4 5 Okay, can you see the pentafid? Right, fid मतलब branched. कितने में branched? Five. One, two, three, four, and five. So we have pentafid stigma. Now, if I try to open this, if I try to open, can we see the white transparent style? If I'll not break it by opening, yeah. we have this beautiful white transparent style can you see it beautiful it looks see look how beautiful it looks amazing yaar apne msc ke din yaad aa gaye masters i used to love taxonomy i love genetics also i love ecology i think every thing is my favorite i like bryophytes more i like taxonomy more I have to be biased you know Look at the beautiful st style, beautiful style. Oh, style is broken. Okay, we can see the ovary. Style is broken. Okay, let me just see for you people if we have the. No, it. I know it has the ovary, but if we can just locate the ovary, I know every flower it has. Um, uh, yes. बेचारी स्टाइल तो टूट गई है तो स्टाइल इज क्राइंग हाफ ब्रोकन स्टाइल एंड वी हैव दिस ब्यूटिफुल ओवरी विद अस लुक हियर इफ यू कैन सी दैट राउंडेड पार्ट आई एल जस्ट प्लक आउट द अदर पार्ट्स सो दैट दिस ओवरी इज वेरी मच क्लियर टू यू लुक एट द ओवरी नाइस इज इट नाइस द ओवरी आई चाइना रोज आप नहीं भूल सकते कभी भी यू हैव दैट स्टेमिनल ट्यूब यू हैव इनफाइनाइट स्टेमेंस मोनो एडल्फस कंडीशन बेचारी स्टाइल व्हिच इज ब्रोकन एंड दिस इज द ओवरी इन द नेक्स्ट क्लास आई विल आल्सो गेट अ ब्लेड एंड वी कट अ सेक्शन ऑफ द चाइना रोज सो दैट वी आल्सो रिमेंबर द प्लेसेंटेशन ऑफ चाइना रोज राइट I know it's exile, but I want to show you. This time I forgot to get the blade. Next time I'll get the blade also to cut the life section in front of you, and we'll show you the placentation too. All right, <coughs> let's go for lily now. Lily, you see, a monocot, a typical monocot member. There are tepals. One, it's broken. Three. in the inner wall three in the outer one so one two three four <coughs> we have five only i think no we have six but i think one has already it has uh shattered so we have a, it's a typical trimerous member lily is monocot a typical trimerous in the worlds of three a beautiful trilobed stigma if you can see 
beautiful trilobed stigma if you can see trilobed stigma and then we have these anthers you can see the anther lobes they are versatile anthers versatile means the anther they can freely swing in the air so that the pollen grains they can be easily dispersed if you can see that they're shattering also because they are attached the filament is very very thin and the pollen grains are also getting dusted in my hand okay so now let's continue with this enough of dissections for today right okay so uh, we have stamen we have done and i've also showed you the stamens right this is the anther this is the filament and anther ke under the pollen grains are also there which are being dusted on my hands right okay so the next one what do we have we have already discussed porogenous tissue now we are going to discuss how the pollen grains are formed pollen grains kaise form honge okay so we've already discussed the connective tissue this is again the structure of stamen we have the anther we have the filament and now i would like to discuss how the pollen grains will be formed right now look at this concept this concept is very very important right look here we have the microsporangia with us 1 2 3 4 tetrasporangiate microsporangia now a mass of compactly arranged homogeneous cells that is the sporogenous tissue and the ploidy level of the sporogenous tissue it is diploid if you open our ncert sexual reproduction ka third page pe yes because ncert is here i remember i'm not uh, wasting myself but i remember almost each and every line of ncert you know I have read NCERT approximately one fifty times. You know, one more than one fifty times. So sometimes what I do, page number seventy eight, pay dominance wali line hai, wahan pe chalo. So this is what we are going to do. Because if I open the book and see, you will also say, "Ma'am, कोई नहीं आता तो ma'am हमें क्या बढ़ाएगी?" Right? But if you remember each and every line of NCERT, आपको भी क्या करना है? Each and every word of NCERT should be here. कि ऐसा भी होना चाहिए डायग्राम के राइट हैंड साइड पे इसकी लेबलिंग है लेफ्ट हैंड साइड की इस पे लेबलिंग है तो यही मैजिक दिस इज द मैजिक आई एम गोइंग टू डू ऑन नीट एलेक्सर दैट ईच एंड एवरी वर्ड ऑफ एनसीआरटी विल बी हियर राइट ओके सो एनसीआरटी सेज दैट ऑल द सेल्स ऑफ स्पोरोजीनस टिश्यू आर पोटेंशियल पोटेंशियल मतलब बनने के काबिल दे आर पोटेंशियल पोलन मदर सेल्स और स्पोर मदर सेल्स और माइक्रोस्पोर मदर सेल एनसीआर राइट दैट ऑल द सेल्स ऑफ द स्पोरोजिनस टिश्यू आर पोटेंशियल पोटेंशियल मतलब बनने के काबिल हैं क्या बनने के काबिल हैं the pollen mother cells the spore mother cells or microspore mother cells right ploidy level is diploid which undergo meiosis to form what microspore mother cells what are they going to form they are going to form microspores right Microspores are joined. How many microspores? As you know, a single meiosis gives four products, gives four cells, right? But the ploidy level of these microspores it is haploid because you know meiosis it is a reductional division right the meiosis a reductional division hai the number of chromosomes they are reduced to half right so these are four microspores theek hai agar somebody ask you how many tetrad are formed 
tetrad formed is one so one microspore tetrad that means the ploidy level is n so if a numerical is there if there are 100 pollen mother cell you have to answer in the chat box right so to so we have to sum up the class and before summing up the class we'll continue with this and how the microspore will be developing into the pollen grains but before summing up i want to ask one last question for today if there are 100 pollen mother cells in the microsporangium how many microspore tetrad will be formed please tell me if there are 100 pollen mother cells how many microspore tetrad will be formed please tell me waiting for your answer how many tetrad i'm asking the tetrad not the microspore if there are 100 microspore mother cells please give me the answer okay phezan 400 then phezan says 100 Tirith 400, um, Pradhan 25, no, 100 is the right answer. One mother cell is forming one tetrad. One mother cell is forming four microspores. So, if I ask one mother cell is giving how many tetrad, one tetrad. One mother cell is giving how many microspores, four. That means 100 mother cell. 100 tetrad, 100 mother cell, 400 microspores. Again, a PYQ question. I guess it's crystal clear. I hope everyone enjoyed the session. So, if you want to avail my special classes, you have to download the Unacademy app that is free of cost. And the special classes are also free of cost. And if you want to go into details, you can join my plus subscription too, right? Don't forget to join our telegram channel that is Neat Elixir. And you don't have to go anywhere. After two minutes, we have Dr. Sachin Kapoor's class of zoology. I as I told you, akela botany se kuch nahi hoga. Akele zoology se kuch nahi hoga. So combination deadly. Botany Zoology 360 on 360. Ke bio me 360 pakke hai. Right? Or ske baad Anub sir ka session chemistry ka. So you don't have to go anywhere. Do minute hai. Just freshen up. Wash your face. Take a two minute break. And then come up. Right? Take care. So see you in the next class. Tomorrow again. Same time. I'm your host and your dost in the journey of need. Miss Botanist, I hope you like the session, right? Please don't forget to subscribe the channel. Neat Alexa. Thank you so much.